So the concept here is that you've got one piece of main content, which is a five or six minute video every week, that they're just gonna subdivide into micro content that is gonna fill the calendar on all of these social media outlets. So you're, you're playing the game of, of adding content on social media platforms in their native environment, in the, in the medium that that, that platform desires. Um, but then the key is that, the, that you're gonna take all of those pieces and you're gonna bring them all together back on your blog. Roy Vaden is the New York Times bestselling author of Take the Stairs and an eight-figure entrepreneur. As a world-renowned speaker, his TEDx talk has been viewed more than three million times. He's a two times world champion of public speaking finalists, has been called one of the top 100 speakers in the world by Inc. Magazine, and recently became one of the youngest people in history to be inducted into the Professional Speakers Hall of Fame. He is the co-founder of Brand Builders Group, where he teaches people to build and monetize their personal brands. Brand Builder clients that have hired him include people like Lewis Howes, School of Greatness, Kevin Harrington, Shark Tank, uh, Julia Solomon, influencer podcaster, Mike Johnson, Bachelorette, Rose McGowan, actress, activist, and Time Magazine Woman of the Year, and hundreds of others. Today, he's going to share with you an insider method and technique that his team uses to help personal brands wrangle the chaos of social media into well-organized, streamlined, massively efficient audience-building, revenue-driving machines. Give it up for Roy Vaden. Um, thank you, Joe. Um, Thanks, yeah, so uh, it's, it's really interesting. I had an interesting thing happen to me a couple of years ago. We exited a business in 2018, and um, all, all of my personal social media profiles were involved in the exit. So I had to start completely over from scratch here uh, in the last year. And you know, we've been doing it for um, our clients as, you know, as well. And, um, and so, you know, I have always had a, a love hate kind of relationship with social media, but it's this thing that, you know, we need to do and we need to, to, to grow. We need to kind of like grow our businesses and reach out to people. And uh, I think the frustration comes from like, uh, one of the pieces of frustration is managing all of the different outlets, right? Like just literally trying to keep up with um, all of these different profiles and all of these different places. And do we need to be on there? And you know, how much time should we be on there? And are we, are we having the right strategy, et cetera, et cetera, on each one. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to share with you is a, just a super uh, you know, straightforward idea about how we think about it and how we manage it for clients and uh, part of it is just a mindset is being open to learning new ideas and being uncomfortable with like sort of the awkwardness of doing things a little bit different. And uh, so for that, I, I uh, told Joe, I have like a little uh, video here that I thought um, I'm going to play for you all so that you can get a, get a sense of the, of the, the mindset of always being learning. I remember when AJ and I, got married and we first moved in together because she would ask me to fix things. And my wife, AJ, you need to understand, she grew up in a home with a father who is literally a lumberjack. Her dad, Ronnie, is 6'4", 250 pounds. He hunts, he fishes, and he fixes stuff. Me, on the other hand, I was raised by a single mother who sold Mary Kay cosmetics. I know more about makeup than I do about cars. <laughs> I mean, guys, you won't appreciate this, but ladies, every single morning when you wake up, you stand in front of that mirror and it goes wash, toner, moisturizer, foundation, wrinkle-free eye cream, base eyeshadow, dark eyeshadow, blush, eyeliner, mascara, lip liner, and lipstick. Notice how all the women are laughing and clapping. They're like, oh, he's so funny. We like him. <laughs> There's this whole row of guys up here in the front row looking at me like, you know, this dude was a high school cheerleader. <laughs> Feel free to participate in the laughter. And I'll never forget, AJ asked me one time, she says this, she says, honey, can you replace the air filter? And I remember thinking to myself, huh, air filter. I know I've heard that term before. 
So I go on to Google. <laughs> and I look up air filter and I say, okay, great, babe, do you want an air filter for the car or for the house? And she says, she points to a metal crate at the wall and she says, just go to Home Depot and get the thing that fits in there. And I remember thinking, huh, Home Depot. I know I've seen that store before. So I go to Home Depot and I'm walking around for probably two or three hours. And this young woman walks up to me. She says, sir, can I help you? I said, yes, I need an air filter. And she says, okay, great, we have those. She says, what size? I say, they come in sizes? Don't judge me. So I had taken a picture, she gives me the air filter, we go home, and I'm working on installing this air filter for, no kidding, at least 45 minutes. AJ walks over to me, she says, honey, what in the world are you doing? What is taking so long? I said, baby, you don't understand our air filter, something is wrong with it, it is broken, I cannot get this air filter to stay up. And she looks at it and she goes, that's because you tore the cardboard off around the edge, you ding dong. <laughs> so that is a true, 100% uh, true story um about about me and um you know i think social media i realize as foreign as is changing something like an air filter might be to a pretty boy mama's boy like me the idea of wrangling all of this and making it function for many of you is probably feels the same way it's very um, can be frustrating, awkward, uncomfortable. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video and I wanna let you know that I have a new book that's come out and if you'd like to get it absolutely free, there's a link below in the description or you can wait till the end of this video or you can simply go to joesfreebook.com and you can get a copy there. So the simple process that I wanna share with you is what we call the content diamond. Um, it is a detailed checklist uh, and a visual that allows you to consistently create one piece of content that is easily distributed across multiple platforms. And here's how it works. So first of all, you pick one question to answer. So like every week, the idea is you pick one question to answer every single week. Um, you spend two minutes preparing what you're gonna say, not two hours, not two days, but two minutes uh, using uh, formula PSPA, this old information marketing formula, right? Problem, solution, problem, action. And so you're going to outline, uh, don't just talk about the answer, talk about the, the, the question. Don't just talk about the, the solution. Make sure you talk about the problem. And so you do that for three minutes. You go record a three minute video, just right on your, you know, right on, right on the iPhone um, is how we do, how we do ours, how most of our clients do theirs. Three minutes on the problem and three minutes on the solution. Now, if you do this right, you will be done as the personal brand, as the thought leader, as the face of the business, you would have to do nothing else the rest of the week. And this process would fill the entire social media calendar across all the major platforms. And hopefully you have a team or an agency or a marketing coordinator, or someone to do this for you. Um, so we take that video and a lot of times, um, so that first video, if you want to go live, you would actually go live and that is how you would you know, take advantage of the live algorithm is to do that first draft live. If you're not comfortable going live, then just record it as a video. But what happens here is you're going to take that video and you're going to divide it up into two paths. So the first path is text and imagery. So somebody on your team, preferably, is going to log into, let's say, Facebook. They're going to download the video and then they're going to upload it to um, like rev.com or temi, T E M I.com, uh, a transcription service. They're going to automatically transcribe it. You can use otter.ai. There's a bunch of them. Um, and then they're going to take that full length article. Okay. They're going to take the full length transcription, which is all in your voice. It's in your words. So we don't have to worry about, you know, you, you know, it's sounding funny in the written word. And somebody is going to just edit that as a full length article for LinkedIn, for Pulse on LinkedIn, which is LinkedIn's blogging platform and Medium. Then they're gonna take, uh, let's say one or two of the catchphrases out of your transcription and they're gonna convert those into image quotes. You can either do nice backgrounds or you can just put the quote on black and white uh, and we're gonna use those quotes for Pinterest and Instagram. 
Now, simultaneously, while that process is running, uh, somebody else is going to, or your marketing assistant is going to send the video, that raw video to uh, a video editor and an, and an audio engineer. And a lot of times that can be like the same person. Um, first of all, they're going to take that five minute video and they're just going to polish it up a little bit. You know, it's five or six minutes. So they might drop in some royalty free music on it underneath. They might put in some royalty free imagery in there probably a lower third title introducing yourself, put some on-screen captions on there, and then usually one standard intro and outro, uh, you know, sometimes called a bumper. So um, you have one little nice maybe seven-second stinger designed or something for the front and the back of each, um, you know, of every video that's the same, and they polish up that video. Um, they post that polished version of the video in full to YouTube, and then uh, they strip the audio from the full length version of that video and they upload it as a short form podcast. So now you, now you are a podcaster without ever having to podcast. Um, and then they create a 60 second version of that full length video that you're gonna use for TikTok and Instagram. So the concept here is that you've got one piece of main content, which is a five or six minute video every week, that they're just gonna subdivide into micro content that is gonna fill the calendar on all of these social media outlets. So you're, you're playing the game of, of adding content on social media platforms in their native environment, in the, in the medium that that, that platform desires. Um, but then the key is that, the, that you're gonna take all of those pieces and you're gonna bring them all together back on your blog. So the only place that people can get all of those assets, the nice polished YouTube video, the full length art, uh, edited article, and you know, the two or three image quotes all in one place is gonna be on your blog. So that's a reason, it gives, it gives people a reason still to subscribe to your blog, which is a big part of the, the problem and the strategy here is when we run into clients, some of our clients have millions of followers on social media and zero people on their email list, which all of you know is a massive, massive problem. Um, and so we got We want to build social, but we also got to get it off of rented real estate. You know, you don't want to build your audience on rented real estate. You want to build it on real estate you own, which is the blog. Um, so, you know, it looks like this in actual form. This is a full length, polished five minute video from YouTube. It's, this is what the 60 second version looks like that is posted on Instagram uh, or a two and a half minute version, you know, it can be up to like two and a half minutes. Um, if you do it as an IGTV, it can be longer. Uh, and then 60 seconds can be uploaded to TikTok. And then the full length article would go to our blog. So here's the video, here's the article. And then you can kind of see down here, this is uh, like what the image quotes we drop in along and then of course we have our lead magnet and all of our funnel opt-ins right here down the side um and you know this is something that if you watch closely you'll see a lot of the big influencers do so this is ed Milet. ed is not one of our clients uh, but he's using this exact same system full-length video on youtube 60 or two and a half minute on instagram 60 second version on TikTok, um and you're just pulling it all together and, and thinking about it and teaching your team and thinking about the tasks uh, that you need done along these, along these two, two paths. Um, so the, the point is repurpose existing content before you spend all your time creating new content and, and get people off of the social media sites and on to your website or your, you know, your blog specifically. Um, and the two you know, kind of fears that we run into with people doing this, number one is they just go, you know, gosh, I just don't know if, if, uh, you know, social media is worth my time. I don't know. I don't know if I should, if I should, you know, invest the time and the resources to set this up. And, you know, the, my one thought on that is it is true that if you suck in real life, you will suck online. Um, so there's, there's, you know, you have to have good content to start with, but assuming that you don't suck in real life, um, sh uh, here's something that you want to do. Save the best for first. Save the best for first. Give away your best stuff first um, because you may not get another chance to capture that person's attention. 
Um, the other fear that people have, which is the last thing, is just a lot of times people have a fear that the fear of giving away too much. Uh, and you don't need to worry about that because people at the end of the day, uh, don't worry about giving away too much. People don't really pay for information. They pay for organization and application. So save the best for first, give the best of what you know, one question, one bite, five minutes at a time, uh, and follow the content diamond. And hopefully that'll help you streamline and organize all your social media. Okay, I hope you found that video awesome and useful. So if you wanna get a free copy of my book, I want you to click here. And if you wanna watch some more videos that'll be useful and awesome, click here. Go ahead, they're over here. Do it now. Come on, thank you. Watch him.